Good evening, Kyo. Teacher. Okay, how are you tonight? I'm fine. You're fine? How was school? Yes. Oh, by the way, on Friday, you don't have class? Uh, I don't know. On Friday, it's holiday in Vietnam, right? 30 and 1? Oh. Okay. I think... What? You didn't have class on Friday? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you don't have class. Okay, because I wonder if we can have that class on Friday with teacher, okay? Okay, teacher. Why it's so dim? Okay, so we have here Kyo. I will check the FCE here. Kyo? Kyo? A minute while well, I'm still downloading yeah. the, the FCA. For a while, I'll just go to the bathroom. Just a minute, yeah. okay? You wait, teacher. Yeah, 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 teacher is here. My tummy, Kiyo, is not, is not really good. I don't know why, Kiyo boy. I'm sorry if it's seen so many. So we have here, Kiyo, I have here. The listening. Okay, it's in unit four because we are done with uh, for a minute. Are we done with this? Okay, I have to go with unit four.
Pura Mar, we're done with this. Okay, we are done with this. Speaking, we are done with this. And reading one, use of language. Okay, so let's have this phrase, okay, you reading and the use of language. Okay, I will share to you the screen. Okay. Okay, now, okay, can you see this, Kiyo boy? Kiyo? Can you see this? Can you see this, Kiyo? Okay, Kiyo. Hello, Kiyo. What happened?
Okay, what happened to you? In here, in here, in here, in here, the internet was very good. Uh, and after. That's why you become black. All that's your screen is black. Okay, so now, okay, oh, okay, so we have to form out, we are in one reading and the use of language. So forming adjectives, right? You know already what is adjective, right? Like you will describe a person, a place, a things. Like what I say, Keo is a good boy. The adjective there is good. Keo is a smart student. The adjective is smart. Everything that I say, it's about, what is it? It is adjective the one i describe if i describe something that's adjective okay 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 so it seems the internet you underline this prefix and suffixes in the words in speaking exercise seven where is exercise i here okay look at the example zero answer the question then do the exam Okay, so but here we have to know first what are suffix and prefixes. What do you mean by suffix and prefixes, teacher? Suffix it means all the things that you have to you have to remember. I mean you have to add at the end of the sentence. I will show you what is suffix and prefix. At least you have hint what is a teacher and what is suffix and what is prefix? Okay, I will have to tell you. Okay, so when we say Keo, look at here in the board. Can you see this Keo? Can you see? Keo, can you see here or no? Did you see prefix and suffix? Okay, like this. Yes, I can okay. see. Okay, wait, wait here. Can you, can you see it? Can you see it, Keo yeah. boy? Okay. Prefixes. What do you mean by prefixes, teacher? It is a group of letters placed before the root word. For example, the word is unhappy. So the word unhappy consists of prefix on, which means not. So when I say unhappy, so when I say unhappy, it means... So again, when I say unhappy, it means... Not okay, so when I say Keo is unhappy, it means I say Keo is not happy. You are not happy, Keo. Yes, you are not happy. Combined with the root or stem word, which is happy. What is the root word for unhappy? It is happy, teacher. And yes, it's happy, teacher. It's not unhappy, it's happy is the root word. Okay, this one. We call it Kyo as the root word. And it means not. So the word unhappy, it means not happy. Okay? Do you understand, teacher? You understand, yeah. teacher, and Kyo? Okay, yeah. yes, teacher, very good. Oh, yeah. So we have here the short list of prefixes. What is prefix again, Kyo? It is the words, a letter placed before the root word. The root word is, example, unhappy. The root word there is happy. So you have to use unhappy. The root word again is happy. Unhappy, it means not happy. Okay. Now we have here, these are some of the prefixes.
Okay, here. These are some of the prefixes. Okay. These are some of the prefixes. Example here. From, down, away, reverse, opposite. D. When you say example, kayo, one word. Example, when I say de, it means meaning from, down, away, reverse, opposite. Example, decode. So it means decrease. It means it's going down. So when I say decrease, the income, the grade of KO decrease. It means the grade of KO going down. It decreases. Kyo, kyo. Yes. Look at here. So when I say the word decrease, your mean from the word, your word, your grades in school decrease. It means it's go down. It decrease. Okay, you understand, Kyo? You understand? Okay. Yes. Now, another one. What do you mean by the word this? It means, this is only example. This, another meaning this, the meaning of this is not. It's opposite. It's reverse. It's away. So when I agree, disagree. Disappear. So when I say disagree, you're not agree. You don't like it. You're not agree. Disagree. When I say disappear, what is that? Disappear? Oh, where is Keo? Keo disappear. Okay. So from the word disappear, it means you walk away. Away, away, away. Disappear. You walk away. Okay. You understand? You understand, Keo? You understand, Keo? So when I say disappear, it means walk away. You went. You understand, Kyo? You understand? Yes. Okay. Think... Oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened, Kyo? Uh, there is some insect mice inside my room. There is insect? Yeah. Okay. So you get that insect away first. Before I will, I will proceed to my discussion. Okay, this is. <laughs> you will take it away. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so again, this it means not. Example with the word this. Disagree. So, okay, okay, look at teacher. So, when I say disagree, yes. I don't like it, Kyo. I disagree. So, it means I don't agree. Not, not, I don't agree. When I say disappear, the meaning of this here. It's away. Where is Keo? Keo disappears. It means, do you understand Keo? You understand, teacher? You understand? Okay. Next. Okay. Next. X. What do you mean by X? Okay. It could be out of, away from, lacking, or former. Again, out of, away from, lacking, or former. Okay. This is it. So when I say it's out of, it's away from, it's lacking or former. So when I say exhale, you know exhale? Inhale. So when I say exhale, you out of breath. Oh, you breath, you out of breath, you exhale. Oh, you exhale. Next. Another explosion. Explosion, it means it's away from. Tug. Explosion. It's away from. It explode. Now, another meaning here we have. These are prefix scale. 
these are the list of prefixes. The list of prefixes. Again, what did teacher Ann said? Prefixes in the Ata. beginning. Look at you. The ill, im, in, miss, non, pre, pro, re, on. So all of these words kayo, are considered as prefixes. Prefixes. Okay, kayo? you understand, teacher? You understand me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next, what do you mean by the word ill? So when you see ill, not. Ill, not. So when I say illegal, it means it's not legal. Not good. Not legal. Illogical. It means not logical. Not logical. There is no logic. It's not. Okay. It's not. Uh, what's that? It's not the same. Okay. When you say im. M, you say the prefix M, it means again, not or without. So when you say the prefix M, it means not or without. Okay? So it means not or without. Okay, another here. When you say miss, what do you mean by the prefix miss teacher? What it means? Bad or wrong? It is bad or wrong. Like you will say, mislead, misplace. Again, when you say the prefix, when you say the prefix miss, it means it's bad or wrong. Mislead, misplace. So when I say, oh, Kia, it's, it's miss. Lead. So it means it means lead. It means it is in the wrong way. It's not the right way. When I say, Kyo mislead the exam. That's the reason why Kyo did not pass. Because he mislead the exam. What do you mean by mislead? You go wrong. Okay, you understand, Kyo? You go wrong. Kyo. Yeah. So when I say mislead, it means you go wrong. Oh. It's wrong. When I say misplace, oh, you put it not in the same place. You go wrong again. Misplace, okay? Misplace. You go wrong again. Okay, you understand, Kyo? You understand? Okay, very good. Yeah, very good. Okay, another one. Okay, it's none. What do you mean by the word none? So when we say none, it means not. It's not. It's non-faction. It's not. It's non-faction. Okay. When I see none, it means not. Example, non-faction. It means it's not faction. Nonsense. You know, the story of my teacher is nonsense. What do you mean? When you hear the word nonsense, it means nonsense. It means no sense. You say it teacher, no. Sense. Oh, it don't have. It doesn't have sense. Nonsense. Oh, stop talking me. It's nonsense. Okay, you understand? Another. When you say the word pre, pre. Okay, you say the word pre. It means before okay when you say the word pre it means before so yes prefix okay prefix of of course when i say prefix it's the word that added the words or the letters that other added before the root word oh, that's prefix so it's before so when i say prehistory what do you mean by prehistory it means what is prehistory it means it is, it means it is, prehistory it means? History. Yeah, prehistory, what does it mean? It means, it means, prehistory it means? Before the history, prehistory teacher, it's before the history teacher. Okay, you understand, Kyo? Yes, teacher. Yes. What do you mean by the word pro? Pro it means for, forward, before. It's Pro, okay. Proactive. Okay. It means proactive. Profess. Wow. Program. It means forward. Proactive. Very active teacher. 
proactive, very active teacher. That's proactive. Another one, rare. What do you mean by the word rare? What is rare? Okay, rare it means again, back. Okay, re rare again it means back. It means again. So re, what do you mean? Re act, re appear. Okay, again re act, re appear. Okay, so when you say again. React, re appear. Okay. So we have this. React, re appear. Okay. So again, so we will be having here the, the prefix re. Again, what do you mean by re? It's again, teacher. It's back. Okay. So when you say reactio, okay, I will say. Act it again, Q. Do it again, Q. Again, again, again. Act it again, again, again. Reappear. What do you mean by reappear? You appear. Okay. Reappear. So it means you appear there. So reappear. you appear again. You appear again. Again, you appear. Okay. Reappear, Q. Where is Q? Q reappear. So it means you reappear. So it means you appear again. You go back. You go back. Do you understand, Kyo? Yes, teacher. Okay. Another is on. What yeah. do you mean by the word on? It's against. So when I say on, it's not. It's against. It's opposite. Okay. Undo. Unequal. Unusual. It's again. Undo. Unequal. And usual. It's against. Against. It means undo. Unequal and usual. Okay, another one here is these are again prefix. The last again, what is prefix? Yes. Perfect what is prefix is again? Come on. Into a perfect is the answer add into the. What is prefix, Kyo? Faster. Perfect. Prefix is what is prefix? Perfect is the thing add to something. It is a group of letters. Can you, you listen? A group of letters beginning you. The, this, X. These are okay. prefix. The okay. one example add here, this one, this one. Okay, add into the word. Before the word. Before, huh? before, before, before. Okay, like here. The, this, all of this. Can you look at this one. All of yeah. this. This one. All of that. All of that is prefix. Yeah. Word, okay, letter or letters. Add in the beginning. Okay. Another one. What is suffixes? A suffix is a group of letters placed a suffix again. It's after. If you say prefix, the beginning, the suffix at the end. At the end of the word. At the end of the word, we call it suffix. Okay, Kyo? Again, at the end of the word, we call it suffix. Okay. These are example of suffix. Look at this one. All of this, the one I have here. All of this, all of this, Kyo, is an example of suffix. An example of suffix. Okay. Yeah. Now, Kyo. Okay, a suffix is a group of letters placed after the root of the word. For example, the word flavorless consists of the root word. Okay, look at this one. It's a group of letters placed after the root word. It is at the end. Okay, it's at the end of the word. Listen. For example, the word flavorless. Look at this one. Flavorless. 
The root word of flavorless KU is flavor. Okay, this is the root word. Flavor. flavor. I only add less. Ah, which means, what do you mean by the word less, teacher Anne? It is without. Oh my God, without. So it means without. flavorless. Flavorless, it means having no flavor. Not taste good. No flavor. Having no, no flavor, flavor, it's flavorless. Okay? So when we say flavorless, it means having no flavor. Okay? You understand? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. You understand. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I understand. A suffix is a group of letters placed after the root of the word. For example, okay, again, suffix. Look at the word of suffix, Kiyo, at the end. And suffix at the end. All of this at the end. Look at this. Able. Can you see the root word able? Okay. So in here, I know not, sorry, it's not the root word. It's suffix. The suffix is able. But here, the root word is comfort. What did I, uh, what did I add? I add able. Kyo? Kyo, look at comfort. It means add suffix is able. Comfortable. Comfort able. It's comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. We read it comfortable. <coughs> we read it comfortable. It's comfort able. Comfortable. Okay. So it means able to having the quality of being comfort. So when I say comfort, it means I have the quality of being comfortable. Okay. Okay. Another here is all. It's A L L. Relating to its mean annual. So when I say annual, it's anno. Every year. Annual. When I say I celebrate my birthday annually, it means annual is every year. Every year, annual. Once a year, annual. Once a year. Okay. So all of this word, Kyo, able, all, e r, e s t, able is suffix. Again, what is suffix? Suffix is the list of letters that are at the end of the sentence. Remember, at the end of the sentence, Kyo. At the end. Remember that one. It's not beginning. At the end of the sentence. Okay, Kyo, you understand? You understand, Kyo? Yes, at teacher. the end of the sentence. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, now. You have here some words. I will have worksheet for you. Please answer the worksheet before we will go. Just... for a while. I have to find prefix and suffixes worksheet. Prefix and suffixes worksheet. Okay. So let us see if you listen. I will have to do this. Is it Kyo? I just a minute, Kyo. Where is it?
sit kayo. Pwede na wait for a while kayo. Isa pang summer break. Hanapin pa ito. Can you hear it? Can you hear me, kayo? Can you still hear me? No. Can I you hear me? Hear. Can you hear? You can. Yeah, you. I can hear you. You can't? No? Why? Can. Okay, for a while. I have here. Okay, Kayo, this one. Okay. You answer this. You use prefixes this and an. Okay. Example. Tyler does not like a piece. Tyler dislikes. Okay. You write here this or. Please this write your an. answer here. Not tight. Mm. Oh, what agi? What is that agi? Here, what is agi? <laughs> Why agi? <laughs> a queen. It's a queen, not a queen. <laughs> Why it's agi, <laughs> Kyo? It's not a queen. It's a queen. Let me choose from the next. Is. Okay, ABS, go Kyo.
Okay, first. Okay, let us see. Let us see. My shoe is not tied. Okay, not tied. Are you sure, Kiyo? Are you sure with the... Kiyo, I am asking yes. this and on only, please. Not say, not tied. Okay, you're just repeating this. Just use the prefix this or an. Okay, again. This or no, an tied. only. Okay, what is your answer? Oh. I will erase. Okay, you please follow, please follow. Look at the look at the instruction. This or just put yeah. this or an. Do not do not copy this or an only. This or an. Okay, Kiyo, what's the answer, Pastor Kiyo? My shoe is... Kiyo, just speak this or an. This or an. Oh. I put my shoe is not tight, car, and it does not agree for a bit. Will and are not up. Wait, wait here. Kiyo, wait. Number one, Kiyo, my shoe is not tied. What is the single word? This or an? You have to pick only. This or an? This. Not, not tied. Not tied. This. This is my last answer. Okay. What is your answer? Just put this or an, do not copy. Put this or an only. Just answer this, Kiyo. This or an, I am asking you this only and an, okay? My shoe is this tied or untied? What is the correct? This tied or untied. Yeah, this tied or untied? Disagree or unagree? What is the correct answer for number two? Okay, just, just put this or an. Very easy. Um. I put, oh, my shoe is uh, not tight. It means this or an? Is on, uh, is, is. What is the answer, is, this or an? This. Kiyo, number one only. I am asking number one first. What is your answer for this. number one? This. this or an? This? 
The answer kyo is untied. Kyo, please focus kyo. Okay, here. What is the answer for number two? Disagree or unagree? Disagree. It's very easy. Disagree. Okay. Another kyo. Wait here. This is answer. Next. Not able, unable or disable. Abby is unable or disable to beat me in a video game. What is the answer, Kyo? Abby is unable or disable to beat me in a video game. Unable. What is your answer? Unable. Unable. Okay, this one. Next, Kyo. Well, does not obey his parents. Will disobey or unobey? What is the answer? Will disobey or unobey? What is the answer? Dis disobey. Again, again, again. Disobey Dis or unobey? Is this? Disobey. Kyo. Disobey or unobey? Disobey. Oh, very good. Disobey. Okay, this one. Mrs. Walsh said she does not want unfinished, disfinished homework handed in. Disfinished or unfinished homework? What is the, your answer? Mrs. Walsh said she does not want this, disfinished or unfinished. Um, unfinished. This or un what's the answer? It's What's the answer again? I did not hear and it. This unfinished. Unfinished. Okay. Please yeah. read the word untied. Please read, Kyo. Read, read, read. Untied. Un untied. Kyo, read, Kyo, please. Untied. 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 This uh, agree. And now. Unable. Disobey. I finish. Okay. On, this, on, this, and on, they are all prefix. Here, tied, agree, able, obey, finish, they are called the root word. We call it as Root word, okay. What do you call this word, Gio? Tied, agree, able, obey, and finish. What do you call that word? They are? Root they word. are? Root word. Again, root again. They word. are? Root? Root? Root word. Root word. Yeah, they are root word, teacher. Okay. So, what we had here is only prefix. Okay. So, we will have the lesson tomorrow about we continue the reading there and we discuss about suffix okay i mean we're done we will okay. have la uh, we will have activity about suffix okay okay okay, Kiyo? okay. so we will have it and then okay so i will send it in zalo Of course. Just a minute, Kim.
continue about this reading and writing. So we have here, can you see this? We will get back in here about this one, reading, reading and the use of language. Okay, we'll have that. Reading and the use of language. We are still introducing about suffix and prefixes. At least you will be, you will know where are we. It's very important. Okay, Kyo? Okay, Kyo, okay. okay. Okay, so for now, okay, teacher Anne will say goodbye and I will be uh, seeing you tomorrow, okay? Okay, goodbye, teacher. Okay, bye-bye.